What's up, what's up, y'all? It's Bowie Radley. I'm gonna make this video and I'm gonna see if I can make it quick. But uh We 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 on them TikTokers is asses again. Again. I'm convinced of all the social media platforms I've been on that the TikTokers are the you know what I'm I, I can't insult them like that. I'ma say this. From my experience being on TikTok, I've come across the dumbest people on TikTok as a whole in massive numbers more so than any other platform. The only platform that can fuck with them in the level of stupidity and the number of ignorant, idiot ass motherfuckers is Worldstar. And that's to be expected because Worldstar ain't nothing but a bunch of ignorant ass motherfuckers with nothing t to do. I tell you. Every other post. Why is this sponsored? Why is this sponsored? You stupid motherfuckers is asking the same question that 12 other motherfuckers done asked on the same post. Why? Can you niggas not read? You motherfuckers is illiterate? Now I know. I, I went to DPS. Before I went out to the burbs, I was in DPS up until the seventh grade and I, I left DPS and I infiltrated the white man's school system and then my learning picked up a great deal once I did that but I'm looking at these profiles <clears throat> excuse me I'm looking at these profiles and I know good and well, damn well, that these bastards ain't been in no poor areas and no sad school system. I know you motherfuckers can read. Quit playing with me. I told y'all in the last video, this internet shit is my place of business. I'm on here looking for a check. <laughs> I'm on the internet looking for a check. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. I'm just... I'm trying to get a check off the internet, okay? That's the only reason why I'm going back and forth with you clown ass motherfuckers on the internet or in the comments. Now, the people that show love, much respect, I love it, you know what I'm saying? I don't mind having a good cordial conversation with the people that show love on the internet. It's these ignorant motherfuckers on the internet asking the same question that 10 other people done asked on the same post why is this in, why is this sponsored bitch i'm promoting an album and i told the last 12 to 10 motherfuckers that you can't read they didn't have books where you went to school they didn't show you the they didn't have sesame street and hooked on phonics when you was growing up you can't read you illiterate motherfuckers. Promoting a motherfucking album. And then you got the dummy saying, he, he bought views. You stupid fuck. I didn't buy views. I bought clicks. It's a difference. <laughs> they give you three different options when you got a business account on TikTok. You can buy followers, and and you're not even buying. What what this means? Okay, you got followers, you've got views, and you've got clicks. There's a difference between all. Of, what this means is you're not buying. Like these are real people. You're just putting your materials in front of the people who are either most likely to follow you, most likely to watch what you got going on, or most likely to click the link that you want to send them to. And that's what I'm trying to do is send them to my link full of links so that I can capitalize and build a following. He bought views. Everybody think they smart while looking dumb as hell on this internet thinking that they know something and they don't know a motherfucking thing. You don't know shit. He bought views. That motherfucker, man, I tell you. What is this? Why is this sponsored? I'm like, 
Like the video is literally songs for my album playing. I literally got my album all up in the video. I even opened this shit. I even opened up the fucking album. The album all up in the video. I, sh I showed the little insert with the little message that I wrote to the, hey, anybody that copped the album. And this dumb motherfucker, these idiot ass dumb motherfucking TikTokers talking about what is this? What the fuck does it look like to you? You, and you know what? I try not to get too upset at these people because I got to keep in mind that a lot of them are probably of the teenage demographic. I See, I need to jump my ass in the time machine to see, was I this much of a clown, goofball, dumbass when I was a teen? Was I? I hope not. I don't remember being that much of a troll neither as a as a teenager. I pretty much was the same way I am now. State of myself. Don't say nothing too much on the internet, period. And if I do, it ain't nothing negative and antagonizing of another person and what they got going. You know, show love if I if I see fit, I show love, but Real low key. That's why I don't understand these 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 TikTokers, man. They are the most toxic crowd across the social medias that I've encountered this far. Facebook <clears throat> seems to be a more mature crowd. Instagram people hardly even interact with your shit. They just not concerned. In fact, Instagram. Um, I think Instagram is really a waste of money at this point even um my account my ad account has been banned for like a month now and i've been going back and forth with them week after week trying to get my shit reinstated they basically said fuck that nappy head nigga kick his ass off he ain't coming back i said you know what guess what fuck you niggas too i'm on my my boosy shit me and mark zuckerberg went nah i ain't gonna go in on him i ain't gonna do that Cause my Facebook ads are running. It's just my Instagram ads. They got me canned on Instagram. So shout out to Facebook people, you know. But the Instagram department, y'all got me fucked all the way up, man. You know, Facebook is more mature crowd. Instagram, they don't care about nothing. They don't interact with nothing hardly. You gotta, you gotta have like a a damn weapon on them just to get them to tune in when you're running your ads on Instagram. Um, the Spotify ads, trash. I'm running one last Spotify ad. I'm gonna see how it does, but I don't like running ads on Spotify because to start off, it's a minimum of like two fifty, and for two fifty, I feel like you get more impressions with any of the other platforms that you can run an ad on. You get more impressions on IG with two fifty, even though they hardly react. You know. Uh, engage with your content when you run an ad on IG. I'm quite sure for 250, I can get f a couple, like double the impressions on Facebook. I'm not really sure about Google. Google is an interesting beast because so much competition that you got to really put up big money. It seems like on Google to get results. But um. Yeah, I think 250 would go further on Google as well than it would go on IG. And oh, oh and, and on Spotify. And TikTok, man, I'm going to throw I might I might have to throw 200 or something or more on a TikTok ad even though it brings out these terrible ass people. There's some cool people on TikTok too. Don't get it twisted. TikTok isn't a a dump. It's not a <clears throat> it's not a toxic cesspool. There's a lot of love on TikTok, but there's a whole lot of, oh my goodness, a lot of terrible stuff on TikTok too. There's a lot of trolls and because it's a younger demographic, younger people tend to be more trolly than older people. So you got to take that into account. Got to take that into account. But uh, yeah, I mean, I ran like, I've been just on TikTok running for like $50 ads for a week. 
for my ads and I'm getting like thousands of views but don't I, I can't really take that as in like you know oh man this is amazing because the whole app is set up to view so of course you're gonna view it but are you gonna engage with it and um most of my ads have been in the range of like three to six ish clicks per dollar I don't really like that I need to get at least 10 clicks a dollar I feel like to really feel as if the ad was effective an effective ad um, what's crazy is my phenomenal get money ad that I ran on IG that was amazing on IG it did a hell of a numbers every time I ran it it didn't do hardly anything on TikTok, which was strange but it just goes to show different platforms have like a different focus, a different base, different things move the people different ways depending on the app that you're on. Videos of the person actually talking seem to do better on TikTok. I'm running an ad now on Facebook, the same ad actually where I shout out all the states that's rocking with me. I'm running that ad across a couple different advertising platforms to see how it does. And then I guess we'll be able to use those results to compare comparatively on each platform uh, how an ad of that type would do. But um, yeah, TikTok's an interesting place. I'm not going to say kill it with fire just yet because honestly, I've grown on TikTok at a much faster rate, follower wise at least. Then on Instagram, it took me, I'm at like 370 some odd followers on IG. And that, that took me like a year and some change to get there. But literally within a month and a little bit of change, I think it's been since I started advertising on TikTok. I'm already damn near at that count on TikTok than on IG. And because IG ain't fucking with me no more, they uh, booted me off their advertising Shit, I'm just, hey, I might say fuck IG. I'll just deal with these trolling ass youngsters on uh, TikTok. I'll just be the angry old man on TikTok. I'll play grumpy old man on TikTok. Going back and forth with the kids. Get off my grass. Get off my lawn. They say, oh, there go old man Bowie yelling at them kids again. Hey. Quit fucking with his old ass and he won't be fucking with you. But uh, that's all I got, man. Just uh, I'll highlight y'all. Peace.